Do you have arthritis, whether it's rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, or gout? You need to watch this video. I'm going to show you the number one best herb that is in your backyard right now that can greatly help arthritis or an achy muscle or joint pain. And we're looking at it right here. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like a little bit closer here if you can see it. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, this is stinging nettle. Okay, stinging nettle. I just took a little bit from the woods and put it into a pot and it grows like crazy. You, you barely need to water it. Now the word nettle comes from the derivation Anglo-Saxon, which means needle and the Latin word for to burn because these have millions of tiny little hyperdermic needles on, on the underneath the leaves and on the stems that when you touch it, it injects their little glass-like tube and breaks off this sh shaft of chemicals. Like one is uh, formic acid, which the little ants can bite you and have the same stinging sensation. Or if you're stung by a bee, it has formic acid. And so the formic acid can cause a little bit of stinging pain. It's not too bad, but it can definitely create some pain. And then there's uh, histamine substances in there. There's serotonin, acetylcholine, and probably a thousand other chemicals. And they don't know exactly what chemical is creating the anti-inflammatory effect, but it could even be your own immune system reacting to this, these chemicals and reducing inflammation that way. We don't know. All we know is when you expose this to an inflamed joint, whether it's on your fingers or your big toe or your shoulder or your knee, it can greatly reduce uh, the inflammation and pain. And so it's uh, fairly safe. It's extremely available. It's all over the place. It grows like a weed, very low cost. And it's even edible. There's actually a lot of nutrition in this plant. It has calcium, it has selenium, it has the B vitamins, it has vitamin C, vitamin E. Some people put it in their soup. Some people make a pesto out of it. Some people make a tea out of it or put it in their salad. But in this video, I'm gonna recommend using it topically. And I'm not recommending going out and getting a supplement. I'm recommending just finding it in your backyard or in the woods, or you might wanna consider growing it if you have arthritis, because if you use it on a regular basis, you won't have arthritis. And it's interesting because I talked to a farmer who had very severe arthritis. I mean, he was basically crippled and he got in his riding lawnmower and he was cutting his lawn and he ran over a bee's nest, okay? And the bees came out and started stinging him all over his knees, okay? Now, don't ask me why they just focus on the knees, but that's exactly where he had his arthritis. I mean, they could have actually killed him if they stung him all over his body, but they focused on one body part, which happened to be where most of his arthritis was. And so he attempts to run away and starts running really fast and realizes that he has no pain, no arthritis. I mean, here's a guy that was basically crippled, could barely walk, and he's running away from the effect of a bee sting. So there's some interesting data on even bee venom for arthritis. And I'm not convinced it's just formic acid, but there's something in the bee sting and certain plants that create an anti-inflammatory effect. And what's cool about the stinging nettle is that it's been used for a very long time. The Romans used it, the Egyptians used it for arthritis, and you can also use uh, like the root for um, prostate enlargement. And you can use the leaves for hay fever, um, allergies, things to help reduce histamines. And so it gives off like antihistamine properties. And the other thing that's pretty interesting about this plant is that it blocks a certain enzyme called aromatase. Aromatase turns your testosterone into estrogen. So this is basically an aromatase inhibitor. So it's really good for people that have too much estrogen, both in men and females. And so as the world becomes more estrogenic, because, you know, you have plastics out there, you have uh, chemicals that all mimic estrogen, things like this are going to be more and more popular to help reduce the, the massive estrogen effect that's occurring in both men and women. And so what I would recommend uh, is you take a glove like this, and then grab a, like some leaves off here, and then just 
uh, apply it to wherever you have arthritis, whether it's on your hands or your knees, if the stinging might bother you. But when you apply the leaf topically to an area of your body, you have arthritis. Let's say you have arthritis in your hands um, and you start to feel a little stinging. You want to keep rubbing and break some of the green chlorophyll from the plant into the hands because there's a lot of additional chemicals and anti-inflammatories that will quickly counter any type of uh, pain that you might experience from the little needle sensation. But you're gonna notice really quickly that the inflammation is gonna go right down and you'll start noticing like your, your stiffness will go away, the pain will go away, whether it's in your hands, a shoulder, a knee, or even your big toe. And I'd recommend using this like several times a day until you're actually pain-free. So I just wanted to share a very simple remedy that you might have sitting in your backyard. Now, if you have not seen my video on fasting for inflammation and pain, I put it up right here. Check it out.